Dear Ecosians, welcome to this 24th tree update coming to you from home. Yes, I'm recording this tree update from home because also at Ecosia, of course, we are working remotely to stop the coronavirus from spreading any further. I was supposed to be at Madagascar at the moment. Uh, on Madagascar, we work with Eden Reforestation Projects and with them, we've planted over 40 million trees in the past years. They're really one of our biggest partners and therefore I was really looking forward to see the results in the field with my own eyes and to meet the team, to meet Jamie, to meet Pagaret and all the beautiful people that, even, that we've met there before. Um, unfortunately, because of travel restrictions, of course, uh, we couldn't go there. Um, but our partner was so kind to share some of the results from the field. Here you see some of the mangrove planting that uh, was going on. I really look forward to uh, visit this project hopefully later this year and then we will report live from the field. Brazil. Last week Mauricio Ruiz from the ITPA shared some amazing pictures with us of the work that we started three years ago with him. As you can see on these pictures, some of the restoration sites that looked pretty bad a couple of years ago are now full of green forest. And it shows that with the right species and the right conditions, restoration can actually go pretty fast. This is really, really encouraging to see. We're continuing our work in Brazil. We've just added a new project, SIG Ambiental Approaches. They wanted to create a corridor for the critically endangered blonde capuchin monkey. And together we did an analysis on how 500 hectares can connect two critical forest patches. And now we've signed the first contract to start with the first 250 hectares. All made possible because of your searches. Last but not least, Australia. Just this week we, have, we received a report from our first tree plantings in Australia. And as you remember, Australia was suffering from major forest and bushfires uh, in the past uh, months. What was particularly bad is that even tropical rainforests that are not supposed to burn were actually burning. With Reforest now, we found a partner to restore some of these tropical forests. And here you see the first results of that work, where many of you searched actively with Ecosia for a single day and brought together the money to make this possible. These were the updates I wanted to bring you from the field. But of course, I also want to talk uh, about Corona because Corona, the coronavirus is also um, impacting uh, the countries in which we're planting trees. We are closely in touch uh, with all our partner organizations to monitor uh, how the situation is on the ground. The message from Ecosia to the partners has been that really health and safety of the people in the nurseries working on the ground comes first and tree planting comes after that. We don't want anyone to not follow the national or local regulations when it comes to uh, social distancing or, 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 or other things you can think of. They are very aware of that. Uh, they have taken their measures. Um, some ha even have special uh, hygiene and soap units next to the fields in other places. Nursery work is reduced so that only a few people are working there. We've also communicated that if it means that some of the planting cannot go on, um, we will find a solution together. So far, the impact seems to be minor. Um, in India, we couldn't start planting in one of our projects and also in Brazil, some of the work has been delayed. The larger planting uh, will be in, in Africa, in the African countries in June, July, if the virus is still very active there and as well as the regulations on the virus, then that might affect that planting. We will find a solution with our partners and I will of course update you on what we're doing. Thank you for watching this tree update. See you next time, maybe again from home, maybe from somewhere else. Keep strong. I know many of you are kind of locked in your houses right now. Enjoy the time with your family, better times will come.